here jeans boots jackets sweaters love it 25 degrees you're still running around in bikini kind of stylish right What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be for our styling section as you saw in the description. It's a very specific video on one specific outfit which I've been wearing for over 10 years. Yes, over 10 years because I've been models for over 10 years for those who is new to my channel. So I have a lot of experience in the modeling industry and I see a lot of interest about this topic. So I obviously want to give you the information that you are interested about. So this video is for you specially requested one so let's dive into it honestly I think that even if you're not a model and you're not planning to go on casting it's just a good basic outfit to have so yeah let's go let's get into my closet let's dress up and I will just kind of tell you why they ask us to wear this outfit okay guys so first item we're gonna talk about is jeans sorry I cut my head off I'm here <laughs> so I want you to focus on jeans jeans is the first item that we have to pick jeans are nowadays obviously in trend that are high-waisted so I pick high-waisted jeans those ones are from Zara you can find I'm sure now something similar I bought them about a year and a half ago why I love those jeans I think the best fitted jeans for casting is the one that is straight right so they're fitted on the top but when it comes to legs they're a little bit looser right and also I love those jeans because they are a little long on me look if you see without a heels it's a little long so those jeans are not for varying with flats but when i'm gonna put the heels on you will see they just will make my legs look so long okay i think it's about time for you to see my face so i absolutely should tell you that you absolutely shouldn't wear any ripped jeans any like wash off jeans any colorful printed jeans like those ones are not for casting the purpose of simple jean is just to show the perfect body that you have and not to distract client from anything from your face right so this is the reason why we pick a simple clothing for casting i think i have only two favorite brands of jeans as for now i love zara jeans very very much actually no three i like zara jeans very very much i love another jeans a brand a gold day you can find in one of my video basic styling video right here where i featured my favorite a gold jeans also straight feet they're a little bit more on the pricier side than Zara so that's why I kind of wanted to include Zara today because I feel like everyone loves Zara who doesn't love Zara right so yeah I will link something similar so now let's talk about the top for the top we pick something very simple like a tank top I think tank top always works the best for castings because if you have like a jewelry casting or makeup brand casting you always need to have your shoulders and neck open so that's the reason why they always kind of request to wear a tank top and I think just a good tank top as always looks very flattering this one is from he bone i hope i pronounced this brand correctly i'm sorry if i'm not i'm gonna attach the link right here this is a brand with very simple basics which we always need simple basics that are just universal and you can just wear them so many ways so this one is just the perfect top because i love the off-white color i really do prefer i notice more off-white color than white bleached white so i love the color i love the straight fit right here i always think that straight fit on me looks better i like the thin straps which also looks nice so you tag it in you can also wear for casting something like a t-shirt a simple t-shirt i have many of them you can wear like a linen t-shirt or a cotton t-shirt for tank top a little tip i hate when you can see like a bra straps you know when you wear like a bra and then like the straps are sticking out i think it just looks so cheap and and I just always have a problem with that. And I always end up going without a bra, but then I'm like, okay, I'm like there, you can see my nipples. Like I was like, okay, I have to do something about it. So actually there is a solution for it. I, uh, I am surprised not so many people know about it uh, because like, for example, my mom, she was like surprised that something like this actually exists. So I'll show you right now in a second what I'm used for the situation like this. As you see, I'm wearing it now. Okay, so there is such an amazing invention as nipple covers it comes in a box like this 
and it contains two nipple covers that basically sticks to your body they also have different like shades of it okay i'm gonna show you one boob don't get scared <laughs> so you see you kind of don't see a nipple it's awesome for castings also i highly recommend to models to wear it for jobs because very often they don't give you privacy on jobs i heard the industry change now over the years and they are a little bit more conscious about it but i started modeling 10 years ago and honestly you had to change in front of 15 people and I just felt like this nipple covers always gave me like a little bit of coverage and made me feel a little bit more covered if it makes sense but till this day I also love this nipple covers because you can wear them like under the dress if you have open back it just it's just an easy thing you can actually wash them as well and just put them in a box back in a box so yeah that's just a little tip for those who maybe didn't know about those things which is very very useful okay back so now we talked about the base of the outfit which is jeans and the top let's go on to the top more like for example in New York where it would be like a fall season or autumn so I think sorry spring or autumn Vita, wake up I'm on my third coffee today and I like I still feel like my brain didn't didn't click yet anyway going moving forward let's go into the section of jackets I lay them all to my bed I have three options of jackets obviously those ones for the seasons when it's like gets a little colder let's say in New York obviously on summer season I will never wear a jacket because summer in New York is like brutal if you've been in New York during summer you know what I'm talking about so anyway I wanted to give you the three options of jackets that is very classic I guess and actually one jacket that I think is just such a great investment it's probably one of the first expensive things that I bought and I don't regret it okay I don't regret it okay let me show you so let's start with first Zara budget-friendly one I always like to include those you know me I love a good deals so this jacket is from Zara bought it about a year ago of course now the high shoulders is in trend so I think it's a great jacket to just like throw on and go on a casting you see it's like it's it's more of a crop version of the jacket like not crop but it's on the shorter side but i like the feet i think this like dramatic shoulders just makes it look so kind of stylish right gives a little bit of fashionista feel so i also like notice here is a different fabric here is like a matte fabric here is more like a satin fabric and i'll show you one in a second hold on this is a jacket i bought i'm not gonna lie eight years ago maybe from saint laurent i heard that they are rising in price each year because this classic jacket they don't change the model like they just do the same exact jacket every season i believe i bought it maybe for three thousand dollars i'm not gonna lie to you i don't know exactly the price because it's been so long ago maybe more but i think it was about three thousand and i felt a little like mm, i don't want to spend three thousand dollars for a jacket but let me tell you i've been wearing this jacket for i don't know seven years for castings and the beautiful thing about this jacket it never changed the shape it never changed the shape it looks exactly how i bought it whatever eight years ago seven years ago. so look how perfect it still looks it's a very classic cut i love to throw this jacket also in like dress in the evening it's you know it's a Saint Laurent it's a classic brand very classic card it's never gonna go out of style and let's just notice the detail do you see the matte and the satin here it's exactly like the budget-friendly option so my point is you can always find a good deal and a similar item if you really put time in it and I kind of I mean I, I really I really treasure both of them I mean you look there is even buttons that is similar how awesome is that Zara I know you copy the styles but it's great it's great that anyone can just afford to look good it's great so I think this item was really good purchase and an item that I will never get rid of love it okay so I feel like every girl who is modeling in New York needs a good like biker jacket okay and I actually had a jacket before the one I'm gonna show you from I believe Acne Studio yeah I think so I'll show you guys here yeah it was from Acne Studio I had one jacket from Acne Studio for also like three years and I was wearing it for casting I honestly like you know the leather has a tendency of like scratching and stuff it still looks good but I wanted something more like oversized 
list and I got on the Black Friday last year this Ira jacket that I'm so obsessed with it's like it's perfectly oversized jacket it has like this cool belt and all the detailing is just so nice and I just love the feel of this like thick leather now it's got a little cooler in Miami so I can actually rock my leather jacket which I'm like super excited about like every time the temperature drops below 25 degrees in Miami we wear jackets we're like all out and about boots jackets sweaters like in New York 25 degrees you're still running around in bikini okay so I love this jacket will attach the link if I can't find it great purchase as well and I feel like it's also great for like over the shoulder like this like when you wear some dress looks great so yes guys so this was my three items which I would usually wear for castings very simple as you see no colors not getting any experimental situation also one little detail I also like to wear for casting beige thin underwear I'll show you options here I think it's just good if like the client ask you to try on something and it's you know a very maybe a thin material or see-through like you want to wear beige underwear underneath so this way you kind of you know all these little details I feel like they make such a big difference you just want to when you come to a casting you want to look professional and you want to look like you know what you're doing so I think this is really a great tips that I give you don't think that they're not important other tips no red nails on the casting absolutely not obviously I'm wearing gel I couldn't take it off but on my like active modeling gears I always would wear only nude nude or clear polish I always like nude I just like to cover the color of your nails like maybe a little pinkish or nude like a perfect nude would just be good for a casting makeup I they say no makeup but I think they really mean like no makeup makeup <laughs> and you can check out the one more video here on my channel for no makeup makeup look that I created I think uh, on the casting is important to wear like a very glowy fresh skin no like too much powder like what I'm wearing now it's a little much even because I've been filming another video before that one so I didn't take off the makeup the hair always needs to be clean I always kind of wear my hair down for the casting because I think I have a good hair for the pictures they sometimes ask you to put hair behind the ears and pose straight profile na -na -na, video you know all those things so let's go last section shoes okay guys so wrap it up this video let's talk shoes shoes is always my favorite and I'm sure it's your favorite don't mind the mess behind I picked this Saint Laurent strappy heels I've been having these heels also for multiple years I mean it's not only great for castings it's really great for any occasions I have this specific model in black and in beige it's just a good basic shoe I also love the heel like it's not too high not too little like it's a perfect comfortable heel I also love the square toe but still like it's a classic shoe but with a square toe which I think looks very nice so I'm gonna try on for you guys the shoes and I wanted to demonstrate to you how much longer my legs will look with these jeans and the shoes on together okay let me stand up it's gonna be hard to see with this camera and the black floor but I hope you get the idea just look how much longer my legs look with the straight feet that is a little longer than the length of my legs I just love it I will also show you some pictures from my latest Polaroid shots so you can also have an idea how I dress for Polaroids in this Polaroid specific pictures I was wearing a tank top that had a high shoulders which is very much in trend right now but I still think it's not too much for casting or Polaroids that it doesn't take attention away from you so it's a still simple t-shirt but just with a little twist so I think that's fine too I also like to wear crop top sometimes especially if you have a good app why not to show it on a casting so a good crop top also would go a long way okay guys so that's pretty much it that was one two three so let's say four outfits that every model owns every single model I promise you owns this outfit because that's what they want us to wear for casting okay guys thank you for being here with me on this video I hope you enjoyed it I will be sharing more of my modeling journey and experience with you let me know if you have any questions regarding this topic i'll gladly answer all of them thank you guys and see you in the next video ciao